Right, this is going to be a slightly different take on the Cobra Dark Speed Driver video reviews that you would have seen. So this is just my first impressions and my first take on how I think it feels and what driver I'm actually fitted in. So before we get into the impressions, I just want to show you some of the fitting session because I went up to Woburn yesterday uh, to meet the Cobra lot and I had a fitting session with Cameron. So here's a few clips of that and then we'll get into exactly what specs I've been fitted for. Okay, so we got six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah, let's do a little review in a minute. Okay. Wait. This is the one I think. So far. He's just killed a Bentley. Yeah. Two, one, spin, nine, ten, launch, three, one, ten. <laughs> Try and go for one as well. Yeah, go on. Try and bump it up a touch. Yeah. That's a purely fade off the line. Now I've played in the last setup I had 45 and a half in 6x Ventus, which has worked well um, up to this point. But with this new head, basically the best option that we've come to, towards is the 7X. We're just going to go through some numbers. So summary, so that 7X is playing the best yes. by far. Launching it in a good place with enough spin to keep it in the air. Yep. And stay in there and keep it going forward. Ball speed's got quicker and quicker as we've gone on. Yeah, just to, just to note here, yeah. that's with a, a, range a marshmallow. So, yes. You know, <laughs> people at home, right? We're going to hit some real balls in a minute, see what we can get ball speed wise. So look at Trackman Optimizer. Yeah, Everything's uh, basically where we want it to be, just if James gets it out in the middle <laughs> and uh, get that ball speed a wee bit quicker. Just for the people at home, we've got the eight degree head, which is yeah lofted down at the moment to six and a half, yeah. which seems to be... Flying. Flying. I didn't want what I was expecting, but it's working, so... Yeah, it's flying. Yeah. At the end of the fitting session, the driver setup that came out best was the LS, but it was the eight degree head. So there's three main heads. You've got the LS, you've got the X, and you've got the Max. Now the LS, this year they've brought out an eight degree head. And that eight degree head is a different shape than the nine degree head. It's just a slightly more compact looking driver head, especially when you put it down. From what I gather from first impressions, this is my honest review. I've always been a fan of a dark finish on a driver. And let's be honest, Cobra, for the last couple of years, they've brought out just good driver after good driver. You've got the Aerojet and you've got the LTD X. They've both been really good. As long as they didn't go backwards, it was going to be a great driver. And from what I gather from hitting those balls and hitting some Pro Vs afterwards and getting some real numbers, again, it is, it's just a great driver. I'm not just saying that because I'm with Cobra. I've been with them for three years and I felt like... At the start with Cobra, they were somewhat underrated, but now after bringing out just consistently good product, I feel like they're coming to the forefront, which is great. But to summarize, it looks great, feels great, hot off the face, and it's just another great Cobra driver. I'm looking forward to hitting it. I'm looking forward to giving it a proper good testing out on the golf course. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get that video up hopefully within the next week, providing the driver comes through. Just to add before I go, me and Flower are going to Wales next week on a little road trip to play golf and also do a few other things. And I'm gonna be vlogging the whole thing, plus course vlog. So there's gonna be a few of you um, that are gonna look forward to that.